In the heart of the Eastern Cape, a young girl with a voice of pure gold was born. Her name was Bulelwa Nkutsakana, but the name would come to know her as Zahara. Zahara was more than just a talented musician. She's been consistent with her career. She sold gold the first day, and I think she's going very far. She was a symbol of hope and inspiration to the Osa community and an ambassador of South African music to the world. Her humble beginnings, unwavering resilience and soul-stirring melodies captured the hearts of millions. Zahara's rise to fame was nothing short of remarkable, from performing in the small township venues to captivating audiences on international stages. She defied the odds and carved out a place of herself in the annals of music history. So I think you guys have been asking me, Zahara, your inspiration, Zahara, your role model, Sarah, we don't see you anywhere. I guess because my role model was, is still Tracy Chapman and Jonah Matradian. Do you find them anywhere? You don't find them anywhere. Only when they want to heal you, only when they want to just deliver a message of hope to you. But Zahara was Oh, mom singing along and join in. Lengo mai tum faz la ke besent chill. O mom God have a child. That's why I, okay, I'm engaged today. But I always wanted my first boyfriend that will be my lover for life. Because I saw that from my mom and my dad, they are friends. And besides that, I've never seen my mother taking him back. She's always there for all of us. We are friends at home because my mom kept the family and my father as there for us. Every time when I call my mother and she picks up the phone and when I look at her eyes, I see a strength of a woman. So who am I not to be strengthened by that? She's an amazing woman. She's a woman of faith and she's a woman. The reason why you can see me and you tell me that I'm resilient is because of that woman. She's called Unokayo Koliswa Mkutuka Nelan. She's the best. As we bear witness to Zahara's heartfelt performances, 
and her spirited involvement in community initiatives. She nexes between her music and her beliefs, and this becomes evident. Her advocacy for social justice, women empowerment, and her preservation of cultural legacies become a recurrent motive that animates and ennobles her creative ventures, anchoring it into a profound commitment to effecting change and impairing hope. Intercepted with her introspective reflections, we explore the themes and depth of Zahara's music. In the realm of music, the spotlights often illuminate the triumphs and success of an artist, but behind the curtain lies a tapestry of personal struggles that shape the journey on profound ways. This is the story of how Zahara battled with the alcohol addiction. So in, during this chapter, we are going to learn about the resilience and redemption of Zahara's extraordinary life. Follow the, the direction uh, where I'm going. On our way, people who understand that they're from East London, um, it's called Buffalo Park, and then you pass um, uh, trees, a lot of trees, like um, a corn, or Iskanga. Mm. When we get, the uh, mistake, yeah, okay. I think maybe, I don't know what came over him, because he's a policeman. Mm. He told me, he went to fetch his wife, and then he contract on a monthly basis. Okay. From Steers, so... When we went, now I'm like, no, we're supposed to be turning here. If you know the place, you're supposed to be turning. He's like, uh, shut up, Uchogun, mm. Mantule. But Uchong is toss, Mantule. So I'm like, in Tulelan, and we're supposed to be, doing, this is where I'm going, not under the bridge. He went under the bridge. So under the bridge, one father, he paper spray, and doesn't, the guy doesn't buy paper spray, go, long to one father, he spray. Uh, and he went to the bushes. Hmm. And Ella said, little did he know. I can't forget how cold the girl was. Sister, I'm not mad. My big sister stays. When he was there, I begged him for my life. He even took out the gun. If no rapa, hmm. he took out the gun. I'm bad. But when but when we are born, and now like so, then the chair, no man took money. I went there and took money. And then I go out and I pray for people. And I will know about what I have. You got one day. I spend my life. It can't be good to take on the level and I'm big and I'm big. And they don't go with that him. Lily, I can't Lily didn't know. So he went um a Putin a city and he took Fagir and and born uh -huh. My face was kinging at so I couldn't breathe. Sure. So he went to Putin. I figure Putin. Uh, I guess why was called what? Oh, okay. Well, I think why was protect because that come. Oh, okay, I go in. Don't lie or try to put it in. Go, but only can only paper spray. It's either we are we are using those or try to condom or whatever. Mm. I didn't care. I got out of the car. I made sure I made it like that. I went into the bushes in the after. Zahara had already been through a lot, losing her brother in 2015 and the other brother getting shot. So it seems that she has gone through a lot of traumatic experiences. So the next video is about how she went through a dramatic situation with DJ Spook concerning her career at TS Records. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and to like and to share this video this documentary i really put a lot of energy into it looking for content and research that has never been seen before so guys please let's carry on watching now we again dj spoo no tk so umam zahara previously made a video crying saying oguti utela ama fans wake amlwele to ets record to Isoni because they owe her a lot of money. Bam Ropa, go first album yaki. Because Siena eh, was, wa, wa, was Balela Ingomayaki, I won. And they bam tola as performela Ingomayaki on the street. So Bonanje, I contribution about Yenzil. 
go the album o but at the end of the day go ba u iboge abaz tola the biggest shares e la pia go google album so the album overall guys it was uh, the album made 20 million rand overall and then sony was involved is sony being a 75 percent shares on the album and then ets record which was founded by udj's boo noti kenza uh, bebana only 25 percent shares on the iluliwe album so gule 25 percent bebana yo they had to uh, subtract ilento lena 10 percent le is we are straight to the artist which was uzahara so let's check ge uguti isuni beitate how much la as uh, beba pete 75 percent shares isuni ihambe na 15 million rand just imagine the album overall billions 20 million rand isuni atata 15 million rand so manje sekusele 5 million rand which was taken by ets record lebe unwa u dj's bu no tk ingeza and then gulio 5 million rand begmele ba kipe 10 percent by nige uzahar that 10 percent was 500 thousand rand half a million so eh begui male ngan too much this is how u dj's bu no tk ingeza barobe nga kona uzahar so uzahar as an artist bogu uye begmele a e negotiate in Sony directly. Ogut at least no Sony itata that seventy five percent. The whole twenty five percent it remains a uh, go artist ogu zahar. So because begu fam Julia and she I will makaya she didn't know anything about uh, these deals. So watolu DJs bu DJs bu an opportunist. Uh, ngisho ukuthi they didn't have a, a, a record label, a record company, a ETS record. I think that's where bavumbule uh, kona ke ETS record. Ukuthi ibe i face uh, uzahara azokona ukusayina nayo ETS record instead of her signing directly in Sony. Beba enza lugu so that Sony izokona ukukomunikata nabo. So they did it. Uh, isoni ya nigabona that 25% lebe kmele iye directly to uzahara so bona uh, bashaisha uzahara bam niga that 10% that's how ba benefiti nga kona google album likado liwe the message is umani tetiza and i understand that the kwadiles nashege stonke kota nashege langa ni mwato ni kumulu kutu waino kudeli ukubulelo she did her first album, Broke Records. Her first album uh, was one of the biggest albums this country has ever seen. And in terms of uh, artists release music, one or two or three songs will be nice. Zahara's album, you find that the whole album is nice. You'll only maybe not like one or two or three songs, but majority of the album you will like. She was those type of artists. I saw her singing all the way up until her 50s, her 60s, her 70s. I thought she, she still had a, I thought, I thought we all still had an opportunity to work together in the future and, and, and mend our differences and what might have happened in the past. I really never thought that we would lose Ukulele at such a young age. But um, I would like to send my messages of condolences. I would like to um, say to her fans, I understand you guys have lost someone, you loved her. I understand that you are angry, um, grieve, cry, mourn. We love, we love her, all of us. But yeah. um, as long as like here, the nam as as a salam and as a bigger brother, I am, I'm sad. Yeah, Mr. Lope, you you talk about her her family. Have you been in touch with her mother, her family at all? Yes, I was um, with the family yesterday, and the messages that came from the family say. We've got a memorial service that starts at um, 10 o'clock. I don't know if it's 10 or 11 o'clock, but in the morning tomorrow, which is a Thursday, um, we've got a memorial service at um, Reima Bible Church in um, Randburg. Reima Bible Church, there's a memorial service happening. This is according to the family. Uh, and then her he last um, uh, place of rest, her final resting place will be in the Eastern Cape, which mm. is her place of birth. And as according to the family, they're saying we must share um, with the public that their funeral will be on the 23rd. Uh, that will be next week, I think, just two days before Christmas, the 23rd yeah. of December. The funeral is going to happen in the Eastern Cape in her birthplace. 
that's where we're going to be laying her to rest. But for those who are in Johannesburg would like to pay their last respects, they can come join us tomorrow at the Bible church. In yeah, the and, and in we'll the be to be safe. We can get. Ready. And we'll continue sharing that information as well as it becomes clearer um, to those that want to come and, and, and say they're uh, good. In the music industry, the pursuit of creative autonomy and the pursuit of ownership of one artistry is a protracted battle that underscores the symbiotic relationship between artists and managers. This is the story of how Zahara and her encounter with DJ Spoon over the ownership went south. And I think she's going very far. <laughs> Oh, I'm emotional. Why is that emotional for you? Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess I've been impersonation here, I'm guessing. I, 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 I with Jason, <coughs> but I know Mandela, when you perform for him, he said, very good, you are leaving the guitar here. <laughs> okay? So, you, anyone you want to impersonate? Oh, God, all right. I remember when I went to him when he asked for me to come and play for him and that's why I feel so blessed. And like he's saying, today I've got my own record label and I've joined ventures with Warner Music. Mm -hmm. And you must think where my inspiration is there, Tracy Chapman, signed Anna Warner. So I'm with her now, the person that inspired me. And by the way, thank you to uh, He's always been a brother to me. Mm. Uh, God, why did he put him on the spot? <laughs> Come on, we, we right. say goodbye This to is you. what he said. Yeah. With Tata Mandela, when I finished playing. Uh, sharp as was then. <laughs> and then people, they were like, Ah, Tata, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was But, okay. And then I played, and then after I played uh, a lolly way, he said, he went like this. You are a very special girl. And South Africa is very blessed to have you. And may God bless you. And wherever you go, may the stars, they may shine upon your life. Uh. We're saying and DJ Zbu, um, <laughs> Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> my sister, I'm very proud yeah, of you. I'm very proud of you. Who are you listening? What's my name? What's my name? <laughs> As we journey through Zahara's story, we encounter the resonant spirituality and profound wisdom that infuses her music. Through intimate interviews and captivating performances, Zahara shares her ideology, beckoning us to listen with open hearts and to heed the call for embracing one another without prejudice. Her narrative becomes a symphony of Ubuntu. Along this documentary, we meet individuals whose lives have been touched by the transformative power of Zahara message. From the humble storytellers to spirited musicians, we are ushered into a realm that echoes of Ubuntu, a celebration of shared humanity, compassion and interconnectedness, transcends borders and into the force of healing and unity. The Zahara's ideology of Ubuntu and her unwavering call for understanding without judgment it stands as a testament to the enduring pulse of empathy, the universal wisdom of shared humanity, and the resounding heartbeat of connection that animates the soulful melodies of South Africa. Through Zahara's story, we embark on a transcendent story, a journey that heralds the beauty of Ubuntu and nourishes the seeds of empathy within our soul. Room con, mm. and they didn't understand, but but like because I'm shy by yes. nature, yes. so but I create my own happiness so that I don't like I said when we were coming to the interview, yeah. was this on the interview? Mm. I create my own space mm. without mm. you, mm. I make myself happy. Mm. And then when you start performing in Joburg, where did you first perform, and what song was Moritile. it? Moritile. Yes, or you were just like a life so beautifully lived deserves to be beautifully remembered. May we remember Zahara not with sorrow, but with stories of healing, joy, and kindness and inspiration she brought to us through her life and her music. May she rest in eternal peace and may her melodies and rhythms continue to echo in our hearts forever. Gift. 
by somebody hundred percent so if you are given an audi by somebody and then it comes with a manual right mm. and then if that audi it, it get disturbed or whatever it happens whether in engine happens you take it back to audi yeah. True. so if i was given a gift by god if anything happens i take it back to god the giver oh. the sender so he takes Woo. care of me Shit. Profound, profound. Sorry, uh, we can't stay in your house, but yo, yes, yes, that is deep. Take it back to him. Yeah. No, but there are clips of my favorite moments that Sahara had while she was still alive. May her beautiful soul rest in peace. My new album, which is doing very well right now. And uh, um, obviously, obviously, I don't change my style. Not really. My new album, which is doing very well right now. And uh, um, obviously, obviously, I don't change my style. Not really. But there are certain elements that I've put on uh, on this one. If you remember, Loliwe was all about me, about where I come from, by myself. And Pendula was influenced by people around me and people like around Africa. And now with this one, which is called The Country and The Country Girl, it's all again, it's about me. There's a lot that has happened. And working on this album, I won't say it was easy because of the things that have been happening in the past uh, few, two years or so, months. Um, but it was, oh my gosh, a blast. Working again with Robbie Malinga. Um, still with uh, taking uh, the TS Records team and yeah um, with the Universal thank you so much to Universal TS Records Robin Malinga for this album and on this album I only featured uh, Robin Malinga and they checked Lori I only featured one that was George so much depression and then people they end up taking drugs they end up taking things because you don't want to speak you feel like they don't want to go back home if things are tough you don't want because you have kept the standard of the TV that you show in the videos, which is not your life. Those are not your cars. Those are not your houses. Mm. Okay, the reason why I was now even ill, because they told me my BP was very high. Yeah. Uh, they were asking me so many questions. Are you stressed? Are you what? I'm like, hey, Brad, we were born in stress. But yes, I am stressed. <laughs> we're born in stress. We are living in stress. Constantly. Everybody, <laughs> you know, is just stressful life. But for me, for what I work for, I mean, think about it. I would go from a village. Yeah. I picked up that guitar and I played Lowly Way. I was found singing Lowly Way. Destiny. I was found singing Ndiza. I was found singing, I always have my guitar. I was found singing all those songs. It's not like I learned them here in Joburg. Any regrets you have, Zahara? I do not have, because whatever I went through in life, it, it means for, for me, because I'm a Christian, so I believe the higher the calling, the higher the challenges. But the process is it, it, too difficult. I know after this, there's something that God has prepared for me. Mm. But it's just that I don't see it yet. And I don't know how to go to it yet. It's just that the process right now is just difficult. But I know he never brought me this far to leave me. I just <laughs> won't give up now. I came too far from where I started from. Nobody told me the road would be easier, but I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. How does music help you in tough times? Okay, it, it's different with me because I write about my life. Mm -hmm. Each and every song that you hear from the album, Loli with to let me show you something so you can yourself you track the trail, right? I write about my life. If you want to know mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally where I'm at, where I'm centered, go get my albums. Mm -hmm. You will know from Loli where what kind of situation I was in, the, the album, Pendul, like I always do this. From the first album, A Lonely Way, Way to the Love, I was trying.
trying to get and reach to my destiny. Yes. And then I came to Pandula, Pandula, the second album. Because now I felt like, okay, I made uh, my dream, right? Because I wanted to inspire. But I, I saw that I'm not the only one. All around the world, sir, we are suffering the same things. It's not only me who's right. in trouble, whatever. It's just because I'm on TV. So, Osiam Pandula, all around the world. And I went to Mali, Mali, yes or no? That's the third album. Because I saw in this industry that I'm in, yo, Imali, Imali. I don't mind, just give me what I was working for. Whatever we agreed on, that was it. And then I went to Ngodi. That's the fourth album, which is Ngodi, Ngodi, the Zimmelanga, fourth album, because I felt like, hey, bra, I was just running from something that I was not prepared to be running from. Mm. So I went to this pit without knowing, without being prepared, like with the ladder when I want to go up, I will go up, or with the rope when I want to go up, I will just climb up. But now I need someone to take me out from there. That's the, the meaning of the whole album. Go right. get that's the fourth album. Now the Mafis album. Divise ku ngabayam Izili go zindili gile Dalinge kanam the fifth album which is called my go and get it and then you understand my headspace. It's like I just want God. I only say you can strip me naked. You can take anything away, but I always say, God, preserve my soul. Yeah. When you preserve my soul, that means I have a chance. I still have, as long as I'm breathing and I'm living, I still have a chance to make a choice mm. and to make a change. Sure. Are you winning concerning uh, the monies that uh, is due to you? Uh, for me, it's, uh, for example, though, did you contact a legal team? Did you... At the end of the day, if I say I don't have money, how am I going to afford yeah. lawyers right. and stuff? But let me tell you something. After I've spoken out, there are so many now. So we are busy now with the web, step by step from Lollywood to when I was an ambassador to some of the other companies I won't mention now. Sure. So, and, and everything of mine, so we're busy with that. I'm still going to come back and say here on the table. What are the lessons uh, you've learned from the people who betrayed you? Videos I was uh, circulating, right? Mm. And I was like, you know, even you can talk about me, oh, Zara, oh, Yasela, oh, Zara, oh, Yasela, she drinks or whatnot. You have never seen me, not in on paper, with a glass. It's a hard. It ten cents, and, and it is just a, me a metaphor. Exactly. We talked about Umama Oti, Umama Beki, five cents, I bet. I beg five cents to make it ten cents. Exactly. Don't answer yes. back. Is Don't that answer back, yes. Listen up. And of course, Imali Mbande, yes, Sono. And I guarantee without even asking. And yeah, so it is beautiful to see you back in KZN. and beautiful to see you back in the game. Thank you so much, Ndabla. And I'm sure you've written a lot and you've learnt a lot. Yes, I have. And if, have. If, you, if you haven't written a journal, Zahara, I am going to write your book for you and you're going to write it. I am going to ghost write your book. I think you, <laughs> the industry needs your autobiography. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, please go and get it because you will see um, it's a story. That's why when we sit down and write songs, our songs will be to make hits. But we telling a story each and every song. From Tuesday to Friday, one to six, Monday to Friday, two to six, Saturday to Sunday, we are telling a story. Each and every song from track one to track thirteen, we are telling a story. And the album, I feel like I've grown mm. uh, vocally. Um,